they first bump it out to start the round. Now, let's see, we got some technicals. Mr. Spud getting into his flow state. His eyes are focused, narrowed. Earbuds on. Paper Suck getting some meter off the bat, as well as Sir Spud. Those whimsical chairs coming into play. Ooh, that's great. So, the counter frames on Sludge Bomb didn't work at all. <laughs> Yeah, I, I honestly don't know when the counter frames are active. Is it only on the startup? It, it's active, like, on the startup, yeah. Hmm. A little early on the king shield there. All right. Oh. All right, good bird. Paper Shack getting a lot of meter, though, off of CA. Catching it with that stylish. Got the big boy combos. Oh, jeez. That oh. It's so fast. Very fast and apparently had projectile priority. The thing is neutral light. It's one of those weird ghost projectiles. It doesn't really, like, break many projectiles, but at the same time, it can't be broken itself. Right. We're getting a really good confirm here. A lot of damage. I think there's still a bit of a hitbox issue um, for Scooby Combos for Gengar on this matchup, but they kind of fixed a few of them, I think. Uh -oh. This is gonna hurt. No, oh, it will not hurt. Okay. okay. I'm surprised that wasn't a punish. Ooh, trying to go for an 8x. Nice. Wall hypnosis. hypnosis. Getting quite a bit of meter here. Sir Spud is looking very clean right now. Full meter, 423 pounds. Oh. Yeah, there's no disrespect in that move. For Mega. For Mega, we want to end this quick. Lasers. Oh. A little early on the King Shield. I don't even know what she would have gotten off if, like, the, if the animation went off. I feel like he just wouldn't have been able to punish. Yeah, that was definitely a frame trap just to do so. Alright, challenge the Nintendo Shield. This one opens up with the grab. I'm surprised she didn't get hit by the uh, later count. This one got that corner pressure. The counter, alright. Reading the, uh, I think this one. I believe so too. Alright, paper plus now burst. Can guard pulling out Sylveon to reduce any kind of damage coming his way. And I think honestly that's a pretty solid option just because this grab can hurt a lot without attack buff. Um, so Sylveon kind of helped him a little bit with that. It's pretty great. This is going to hurt. No, I thought I saw the glow of a counterattack on Sir Spud's part. Alright, Siang. Whip and curse to get some of that meter over. Yeah, he's trying to get. Yeah, he was trying to get Mega. Even though he was hurting himself doing it, he was still trying to get that. Oh my gosh! Big boy laser damage. Ooh. You watch that rage, Gengar. Risky too, because that Dragonite could have. Maybe confirm the kill. Well, it would, it would have to be a very tough confirm for Paper Sack because, I mean, he was full screen. She'd have to get into shield mode. And the only thing I think that might work is maybe the four white projectile. Um, just because that's the only thing that kind of covers that much distance. They definitely can air tech after the, uh, the projectile, but I don't know. Or I can't recall at least when you can air attack after a Dragon Egg. Alright, Dark Coliseum. 
Oh, we got a change here. <coughs> Paper sack pulling out Weavile, a what? character we have not seen in some time since the switch to Aegislash. Ain't that right? Yeah, I mean, she moves it out occasionally, but yeah, most of the time going for uh, Aegislash these days. This is a matchup apparently in Weavile's favor, though, so we'll see if it works out. Well, Weavile does have the mobility. But not so much on the defense side. A lot of pressure there from Sir Spud. And as is his specialty, it is set play. So Paper Sack is going to have to make her decisions carefully. Good icicle to lay JX there. Oh, that very unfortunate. Flash straight in Serp Spud's favor. Impressive. I like the uh, folks. I, I honestly do. So you're not committing to something like, say, uh, uh oh. That is not quite a punish. All right, all right. Serp Spud just barely making it in the clear. Good time wasting conversion off of that. Uh, Estana got eight seconds on the clock. Yeah, he's just trying to play out right now. Goes for that. Gengar uh, just. Gengar loosing his shield open just to take that homing attack. He's like, I don't want to lose any of this meter. Have it. I'm not going to die. Alright, nice. Okay. nice, nice anti-air. Uh, Gengar C80 in. Uh, try to maybe shadow sneak over Weavile, but not I quite. Think so, yeah. Uh, watch out for that JY Astonish, it works on everybody. It's a frame trap. Yeah, I was about to say, she has the pressure for, you know, to utilize meter, so. I was kind of surprised she wasn't going for it. But now we've got that rolling. We'll see how this works. And it's unsafe. Wake up slap getting punished with the first CA. First. Okay, okay. Trying to break a grab right off the bat. I, I respect the decision. Alright, taunt. Oh, alright. I'm good. Really good eye from Spud there to kind of react to the taunt being held. And just punishing that option. At the same time, though, I do like uh, Paper Sack's use of it over uh, CA because it's a lot less vulnerable and it does apply that synergy debuff. Definitely. Yeah. Ooh, enough, uh, enough time. <laughs> Just taunting the Shadow Ball, like, I know Jeez. this debuff works. Yeah, you gotta be careful though. That. That's gonna hurt. She can CA these lasers, but... Ah. Alright. So Spud's gonna take this 2-0. Paper, honestly, bringing a very good fight to that, though. Yeah. Um, we don't get the Gengar matchup often just because Spud doesn't make it out to...